the van which was used to transport gears. That always had Reese's chocolate stuck to the back of it. Was using its gun to shoot the office of glucose 6 phosphatase. as the huge liver and kidney try to escape from the attacking Pompeii guy. And the unicorn with the lactate on its side as well as the triangular picture of fatty foods was also trying to fly away along with the hippo that was gliding. All right, welcome to our scenes representing the glycogen storage diseases. We're going to have five episodes representing various glycogen storage diseases, and all of them will be taking place at this street scene over here. In this specific one, we're talking about the first type, von Guericke disease, and after that, we're going to talk about Pompeii disease. Let's begin by talking about von Guericke disease. Over here, we have this van that always transports the gears. Van with gears for von Guericke. In this scene, we're talking about von Guericke disease. And you may have noticed that there was this random Reese's chocolate attached to the back of this van over here. Reese's always shows up in our scenes of diseases inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. Actually, all of the glycogen storage diseases that we will be discussing, 1 through 5, are inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. We also note that in this scene, it had a gun on the van. Gun in our videos represents 1. And this reminds us that von Guericke disease is glycogen storage disease type 1. Then we take a look at number four over here. We saw that the gun was shooting the office of glucose 6-phosphatase. Glucose 6-phosphatase was being destroyed. This is not such an amazing mnemonic, but it surely ingrains in our minds that glucose 6-phosphatase is the deficient enzyme in von Guericke disease. Glucose 6-phosphatase is an enzyme that's important for extracting a phosphate from glucose 6-phosphate in order to free glucose. So without this important enzyme, patients will not have free glucose. And this is what leads to the fasting hypoglycemia. The fact that glucose 6-phosphatase is deficient impairs both glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, as glucose 6-phosphatase is an important enzyme in both of these processes. Now, if you take a look at this orange button over here, on your card, you'll take a look at both the equation of gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. And you'll see that glucose 6-phosphatase is in fact an important enzyme in gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. The lack of glucose 6-phosphatase is what leads to all the symptoms in this condition. We take a look in the van over here and we notice the huge kidney and liver. The reason why the liver and kidney will be large, known as hepatomegaly and renomegaly, is because glycogen accumulates, and this accumulation leads to increased glycogen in the liver and kidneys. In fact, may, patients may present with a bulging abdomen for this reason. And then we take a look at number six over here, the unicorn. Unicorns in our videos represent uric acid, and the fact that it's going up reminds us of the elevated uric acid. Patients with von Guericke disease will have elevated uric acid levels. They will also have elevated blood lactate levels, leading to lactic acidosis, and that's represented by the lactate bottle over here. And the triangular picture of the fatty foods reminds us of the elevated triglycerides, that patients with von Guericke disease will have elevated triglycerides, hypertriglyceridemia. And you can take a look at this card over here for the reasons for these elevated lab values. Finally, we take a look at this hippo over here that's gliding. The hippo gliding reminds us of hypoglycemia, the fasting hypoglycemia, which we mentioned is a result of the fact that glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis will be impaired. We're going to end off this scene with a word about treatments for von Guericke disease. Treatment includes frequent oral glucose and cornstarch, and this is to provide for the lack of the ability to produce free glucose. In addition, patients should avoid fructose and galactose, since these molecules must first be converted to glucose 6-phosphate before being utilized. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on von Guericke disease. Stay tuned for our next video on Pompeii disease, and take care.